Today we're doing the 50 plus perk challenge on Town Reimagined on Black Ops 3 Custom Zombies. And as you can see, there's already, well, stamina up's normal, but there's just perks littered throughout the entire map. It might be a little bugged though, because I it says 75 is the max. And then we also have each perk is able to be upgraded. So it's almost like two perks, two perks within one perk. So a bunch of different types of perks to use. And this is town reimagined, not remastered. So as you can see, like we can go into this area. This is normally where the Semtexes were, but it goes like upstairs and then Oh, this is, they mo just moved the Semtex room over. But then there's like a whole new little, little bowling alley over here, I believe. We can open this up. There's already, there's perks in there as well, but we'll get in there eventually. Yeah, look at that. We got elemental pop, meal kick, and a bowling alley. <laughs> so we're going to be trying to complete this 50 perk challenge. I, I don't want to die from exploding zombie. Oh, he doesn't explode. They fixed it. Thank you, map creator. And then they move as well. So like this victorious tortoise, well it stayed, but I think different perks can spawn in maybe once you finish them and upgrade them or sometimes they'll just spawn in no matter what. What is this muscle milk? Electric melee stabs, interesting. So it looks like there's just speed cold on there. So we're gonna need a lot of points to finish this thing. <laughs> like a lot of points. But uh, yeah, just wanted to do some more custom zombies challenges for you guys because we're on the grind until Black Ops 6 comes out. So we're gonna hope it, we're gonna hope it's a good game. But if not, you know, we got the custom zombies content to, to tide us over for now. So, all right, let's get some points here. Oh, dude, this map looks gorgeous though. It looks so good. Uh, so do we want to get, we probably want to get a weapon before we get, we start rolling on perks. What is this, tombstone? So tombstone's in the same spot. See, this one just spawned. What is this, dying wish, Black Ops 4? So there's Black Ops 4 perks, there's Black Ops 3 perks, Black Ops 2 perks, because I believe PhD's in this. Oh, wait, what? That opens up over here now? The ballista's on the wall? Okay. Wait, did they take out the M14 then? No, oh, the M14's still there. Maybe I should just run with that for now. We'll get some points through that. But yeah, there's a lot more open areas that town wasn't, we're not used to having. Dude, the guns sound sick. Oh! Okay, we're gonna go this way. <laughs> we're already getting tested a little bit. That's a nuke. We're gonna try and get that here in a second. Might as well. Uh, we might as well go get Jug right away. Just cause my powers invested in me aren't the best. Yeah, this one moved. Okay, so Tortoise now is Blaze Phase. That's also a Black Ops War perk. I'm definitely buying the MP5, dude. I love the MP5 on this map. One down. Look at that. So technically, I think there's only 40 perks, but then you can upgrade them all. So there's a lot, a lot more than that um, in terms of, I mean, it's the same perk, but it's like that you get more abilities and stuff like that. So we're going to, we're going to count it. But yeah, how are you guys doing? What zombies have you guys been playing? If you, if you play zombies, what have you been playing? I want to, I want to hear, are you just sticking with the old classic Black Ops 3? Are you running back to BO2? Are you, you know, going all the way back to World at War? That'd be kind of crazy. I don't, I don't think I've played World at War in a fat minute it's been a long time or are you playing uh the more modern stuff i don't know if anyone's even still playing uh modern warfare 3 zombies i should maybe just go back and and just see how it's changed since i played it last i haven't played it since i mean i don't think they've even updated it i don't think they've even updated it since the last time i played it so <laughs> they don't update that game much so there's a couple of custom perks as well, besides just like the Black Ops series perks that come from like different games. We're gonna get double tap right away. We're gonna start it. We're gonna start off with the classics though. Make the gun a little bit more punchy. Why does this area feel so much more open? I feel like this just this feels way more spacious. Like you're not gonna. They definitely punch this back just a little bit. Uh, okay, let's open this way. Okay, so here's the, the original Semtex room that we can now go into, and then it goes... Oh, there's two different staircases? Oh, Speed Cola is it? Wait, wasn't Speed Cola... Wasn't Speed Cola in the Speed Cola room? Where's the power? Oh, this goes to Jug! Oh, yo! I thought this was another room completely for a second. Okay, we're gonna... Can you not? Can you not hit me? We're buying this right now. Oh, it's the good, the good MP5. Yes, please. Max ammo. We'll take that. Get ourselves some points here. Damn, this thing is powerful with double tap. I'm confused though. 
So why, where's the, there's no power switch on this map. Why can I not use this perk, but I can use every other perk. But I mean, I can just open up speed cola and get speed cola, right? Oh, electric cherry. Yes, please. So then the Semtex room is the exact same. They just moved it over. Cool. All right, we got, we're going Black Ops 2, Black Ops 2 perks to start off with. We'll try and get all the Black Ops 2 ones right away. And then we can start going to the crazy stuff. We're gonna definitely need to hit the box here in a minute. The fire is just so bright. Okay. Focus headshots. I love how they don't blow up too. I mean, they might, a couple of these guys, uh, they're kind of blowing up, but they don't, they don't like hurt you though, which is the good part. Let's go rip the box a little bit. Maybe gets, maybe a quick revive while we're at it. Yes, sir. What is that? What was that before that? Um, we can, we can wait to hit the box again. We got the Galil now. Chilling, chilling. Oh yeah, we still got the bowling alley to open up too. Yeah, that's so weird. Speed Cool is available in that same spot that it normally is. Okay, we're gonna buy Stamina Up to continue the Black Ops 2 perk trend. Wasn't Widow's Wine here before? Uh, that's kind of the nice thing about town though is kind of why I wanted to do it on this map. The 50 perks because you don't have to just do all this setup. And then like, you know, get get guns packed, get doors open, power on. You can kind of just hop right in and start getting your perks, which is nice. We're skipping right to the good part. Dude, this MP5 shreds. Ooh, the Galil sounds cool. All right, we're gonna go get Speed Cola to continue the trend. No way, Do you, I guarantee we can open this. I just have a good feeling. Yeah! Oh, don't kill yourself. PhD, no way. Okay, see that's what they should have done. PhD on this map if it would have negated fire damage would have been unreal. That probably would have saved town in terms of just the shitty parts about it. Um, I guess we can get tombstone and then PhD even though we probably don't want tombstone first, but eh, whatever. We're getting heckin' points though. All right, we're gonna go get PhD. Oh, oh, oh. It's like banana colada, essentially. Oh, he's on fire. Is he gonna die? No? Can I kill him? Is it really that? It's really just not powerful at all? Come on, PhD, you know you wanna be better than that. Ah, okay, so it still does burn me. The zombies that die still do burn me a bit. Oh, 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 we can still open up this area. Let's go, let's go to the new, what is this? Pack-a-box? Chance to get a pack-a-punch weapon from the mystery box? Oh, yes, please. I'm gonna be hitting the mystery box. I mean, now that I'm ripping the box, it's worth it. Because then I won't have to pack. The cheek home? Sure. It's not packed. Damn it! I wasted my perk! Waste of money buying that perk. Dude, the cheek home! I haven't used this gun in so long. PDW, yes. And it packed it! Yes! That's literally the perfect gun to pack. This is like my favorite Black Ops 2 weapon of all time. The PDW, it's so good, dude. Super unique reload, lots of ammo, powerful. We love it. What do we got? Blaze phase came up over here again. These bowling pins, are they interactable? No, that'd be kind of cool if you could bowl. This isn't a bad little training spot though. Probably the best train. Oh, and I got buy ammo right here. Yes, please. And then this dude, this is so well integrated. Oh my God. Oh my god. I like how the other one goes up to the jug room and then this one goes over by double tap. That's cool. It just feels a lot more connected and like a bigger, definitely a bigger map. So we're gonna chill in here. This is a, this is a nice little area. Uh, oh, Widow's Wine. We'll, we'll grab that. That's a Black Ops 3 perk. Dude, if I, if I jump in the slide, it does like a... <laughs> That's kind of cool. cool. Yoink. Maybe it'll do headshot damage to him? Is it just faster sliding? I don't think it does damage. This uh, this Pack-a-Punch box perk is kind of cool. It's just like something if you had it on like a Black Ops 2 map, it'd be so nice uh, because then you're just, you know, you obviously if you get it early game and you get a chance every time you hit the box to get it packed, that'd be nuts. And low key, I really don't want Mule Kick. <laughs> Mule Kick is easily my least favorite perk of all time. I love the idea, three guns, awesome, but I think I've died with Mule Kick more times than when I don't have it. Just trying, like purely just trying to switch to the weapon that I need specifically, like if I have like a water weapon and then I have Mule Kick, I literally get into like a, 
predicament where I have to pull out the wonder weapon and I'll die every single time. Literally every single time. Oh, muscle milk. Okay, what is this? This is melee stabs. This is kind of like a dead wire melee. Interesting. Okay, we'll try it out. Let's try it. Let's try it. Ooh, does it kill him? Oh, it kills him. Is there... Oh, you can see the cooldown on the perk. That's really cool. Oh, let's get a train together and try it. Hold on. Yo! That's actually so good. That does a lot of damage. That's a very impressive perk. I like that. So I think it's got, I think this this mod has like some custom perks that were like not created. I don't know if they all were created by him. Pretty sure Banana Colada's in this or maybe they just replaced it with PhD. But I'll have to, I'll have to check what it says on the mod menu because I don't think all of them are his created perks. But, um, but I think some of them are like community created from like other maps or inspired by other custom maps, which is cool. All right, we got, we got some points to spend here after this. Dude, the Pack-A-Box perk is just gonna save me so much money. Cause I just don't have to pack. I'm kind of glad I got it early. What does it do if I upgrade it? Oh, you can return the perk? Removes perk and refunds 50%. That's insane. Higher chance to get upgraded weapon and can obtain repap. I might just do that. I mean, it's only 1500 more to double pack it. Let's see what it looks like when it's, okay. Then it's got an outline on the perk. So now we know it's, it's double packed. Oh, dying wish. Let's do that. We'll get dying wish. That's a black ops four perk. Dude, the night, the muscle milk, the muscle milk perk is my favorite right now. Damage increased electric cherry? Sure, that's fine with me. Meow. Oh, yes, please. Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you. There's gotta be one right here, though. Yes, sir. Okay. There's a ray gun? AK? Type 25 pack? Does it just make everything packed? Is it once you upgrade it, it just turns everything packed? Is that is that how it goes now? So I don't have to pack again? I'm still not getting meal kick till last because I don't want to. I don't want to deal with it. I hate it. Should we double pack, double tap, SVU? Yes, please. I'm gonna do this. Bullet damage increases after continuous shooting and resets after one second of not shooting. Oh, so over time, bullet damage gets gets even more. I don't know if it shoots faster or just does more damage over time. Bro, I haven't used the SVU in so long. They should have put this gun on this map. This is like one of the coolest guns in Black Ops 2. It's so powerful too. That's a triple headshot. We're on mission, just spend cash. Uh, we do not want to kill all the zombies though. Why don't we upgrade Tombstone? Why not? Should we just upgrade everything we have and then we can just auto upgrade it right away when we get, when we get stuff. So I'm gonna upgrade Speed Cola, bullet damage increased after reloading for a limited time. Love that. So it's kind of like double tap is working with that. And then we already know what PhD does. Stamina up, not quite sure what. Sprint and fire while sprinting. Oh, wow. Elemental pop there. I'm gonna upgrade quick revive real fast. Faster movement speed after healing for a limited time. Oh, love that. Oh, okay. So PhD now does explosions when I land. We know what elemental pop is. We've already we've already known that. I'm gonna upgrade it right away too. Oh, we're on the second level of perks, baby. We're on the second level of perks. I'm gonna go upgrade Jug quick and then we can start the next round. This type this takes a lot of freaking money, man. It takes a lot of money. Dying wish, have full health after invincibility phase. Yes please. Two times per round live through fatal damage. Okay. Whatever that means. Is that just like Dying Wish within Dying Wish? So I have two versions of Dying Wish now. What do we got here? Widows, I actually need to upgrade that. And I have exactly 2,000 points. I didn't I didn't see what it did. That was my fault. I should have I should have read that. Do I get more grenades or something? So the only one we don't have upgraded is Muscle Milk. And that's like the one I really want to upgrade. Oh, dude, and the Elemental Pop gives me the Black Ops 3. The Black Ops 3 double packs, that's so nice. I hate the Cold War ones. The Cold War ones kind of suck. And the Cold War and Modern Warfare ones are just trash. So I can sp I can sprint and fire now. That's insane. I got Omni movement. Guys, I have Omni movement now. Where's Muscle Milk? Where you at? There he is. I'm upgrading Muscle Milk. Cooldown's faster and it affects more zombies when I knife them. Dude, it's literally a Wonder Waff. No. <laughs> Dude, I love Muscle Milk's my favorite perk. 
Oh, this is the. Oh, I'm buying it. This is uh, repair barriers, and it and it kills people, and it instantly repairs all the barriers. That's pretty sweet. Even though there's no barriers over here. What is this? Victorious tortoise shield blocks damage from all directions when held and explodes when destroyed. I don't know how that works in this, but sure. But yeah, what do you guys think about the new melee perk? in Black Ops 6. Melee Macchiato, I believe it's called. I believe so. I think, I don't know. I feel like it's kind of stupid because it, from the looks of it, you have to like lunge to use it. I'd much rather have this muscle milk perk because like this is actually useful. And the fact that like I can step back and knife with it too, like it's not like I have to drop my weapons like for a long period of time and uppercut somebody in the face. That's just what it looked like was happening. I mean, I haven't played. I haven't played it yet, so I don't know if they... And they might, you know, they might patch it by the time by the time it comes out. But it just seemed very clunky from the footage, which I wasn't super excited about. But I feel like... It, oh my god, my slide is so fast. I'm sliding so fast! But I feel like they'll add a couple of cool new perks along the DLC cycles. Okay, end of the round. Uh, doubles shield max health. I don't even see shield. Does it show up on my thing at all? Oh, so next to Jug, it shows the two near death experiences I get. Muscle milk is such a sick perk looking too. Like, look at that thing. Look at that thing. I don't know if I like elemental pop as well. Like I, I'd, I'd rather just, uh, I'd rather just double pack like in Black Ops 3, and just get whichever one you want, which I know you can do that in Cold War and uh, BO6, but the fact that Elemental Pop's also a perk is kind of redundant. And then it's like, also, you just get ran- Like, I don't always want to have turned, because, like, what if I'm trying to save a zombie, and then turn just shows up and just ruins my day? Like, look at him. He's just going to go smack everybody. Like, I'd rather have a say over what I'm using than just get something random. I mean, there's definitely got to be more perks around here. So this is the repair perk. No, this is Blaze Phase. This is the this is the one where if... This is in Black Ops 4. If you charge up, crouch, and then you let go, and you just get sent. I don't know. I feel like it's kind of useless to be honest, because it takes a while to charge. I don't know what it does double up. I don't really care because it's just kind of a poopy perk, to be honest. Zomb shell. Shooting a zombie can create a slowdown field. Okay, and makes them less resistant to damage. Okay, well, I missed it. Victorious tortoise, we already got that. I don't know if there's just not enough perk locations. Oh, elemental pop. I already have that upgraded though. Yay, I'm super speedy. Super speedy. Also, Widow's Wine is way more powerful with the upgrade because it's like killing like four zombies next to me instead of just spraying them with cobwebs. We already got Electric Cherry. I think I'm running out of perks, dude. I don't know if this is the full 50 that the mod promised me. So I think it lied to us about how many perks we have based on this is a custom map. I only have 31 and I can only upgrade one more perk and I haven't seen another one that's new since. So I think we might have completed the challenge once we find this repair, repair perk again. Executioner, AK. Oh, I had 94. Okay, we're gonna keep this. We're gonna keep this. We're gonna get rid of the SVU. We've had enough fun with the SVU. And 94, the other goat weapon. I mean, bro, if you if you don't like the AN94, what's wrong with you? Oh, dude, we still need to find Deadshot. Deadshot's on the map. I saw it earlier. Oh, here's the barrier perk. We're gonna upgrade this. I'm telling you guys right now, if I die with Mule Kick, it's not my fault. I'm calling it ahead of time because it is just not my fault. This thing, what does this do? What? Oh, this thing does no damage. This thing does no damage at all. So that, no, too stupid turn. I'm buying it. I don't, I don't know what it does. I don't know what it does. I just bought it. I just bought it because it's leaving. We already have Victorious Tortoise. We already have the barrier one. So we're still missing like two perks. What? What was that? Oh, that's what the perk does. So I shoot him and it turns into a Regan Mark III. That's nuts! It essentially is like the left the left trigger of the Rega Mark III from Gorod Krovi where it slows all the zombies down. Like, watch this. Look, th then this thing turns here and then everything around us is super slow. I forgot what that one's called though. Okay, this B34R is just... 
All right, what are we, are we gonna get what we need? Yeah, this is it, this is it. Zom shell. Standing in slow down field makes zombies ignore the player. So then this turns into Vulturade. So we need two more perks, it says in our, oh, there it is, there's Deadshot. We'll upgrade this quick. And then we need one more. I don't know where the other one would be. Oh, is it, fr no, we have Mule Kick. I was gonna say, is it freaking Mule Kick? You know what it might be? So I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I get why we're missing one. It's because, it's because this perk's glitched. This is not supposed to be Speed Cool, I bet. That's my guess. That is my guess. It's supposed to be something else. God, the zombie shell perk is pretty sweet too. I don't know if that was in Black Ops 4 or if that was uh or if that one's a custom one, but it's it's pretty it's pretty sweet. Dude, I can literally slide jump over the pack, over the spot by pack. Nah, dude, I think it's glitched. I think it's glitched and we're missing some perks cuz I know there's 50 plus. Because we're still missing, like, bull trade and all that. I probably just didn't turn them all on. So, ladies and gentlemen, we completed it. At least this version. I, uh, on the next one that I do, I'm probably gonna... I'm gonna try it on, like, Shadows of Evil and see if we can get a lot more perks. Because I feel like it might just be a little bugged with these custom maps. Because on some of the custom maps, it doesn't even work. Uh, I tried to do it on Dury's Declassified, and that did not work at all. So, my guess is if we do it on a, like a normal map on this game, we should be able to get over the 50, the 50 limit. So that's gonna, that's gonna do it for this one though. I'm glad, I'm glad we got to check out Town Remastered or Reimagined. Uh, didn't get to use the gobble gums that come with this mod, but we'll, we'll do that in the future. And uh, we got 38 perks, so not bad. Not, not the 50 we were expecting though. But if you did enjoy and are looking for more custom zombies content before Black Ops 6 comes out, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe because we're going to be coming out with hopefully three videos a week for you guys up until launch. We'll, uh, we'll have lots of content for you guys, especially custom zombies. We'll be streaming a lot of, uh, a lot of fun Halloween content as we get closer to Halloween in October and, and some other games like Last of Us and, uh, we happy for you and some other stuff like that. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, also follow because we'll be streaming right here live on YouTube as well. That's going to be it for me. And uh, we'll see you in the next video very soon. Peace out.